good morning and welcome back to my channel my name is angie and today's video is a what i eat in a week and these are all meals that i think are pretty healthy uh food that i've been enjoying i have a couple of things planned but a couple of meals planned but everything else i'm just listening to my body and so yeah Today is Monday. Um, I started the morning with a walking workout. And then uh, I had some celery juice. I'm getting ready to make a latte. I'll show you that and heading out the door and I'll show you what I'm taking with me and what I'm gonna be eating for breakfast. So guys, because it's been so warm, or I should just say hot and muggy, I've been hydrating very early in the morning. So I'm going to make a dandelion root uh, latte. And then I'm going to make a big batch of this ginger turmeric tea from Trader Joe's. I'm adding my raw lo local honey. And I'm going to let this steep for a few minutes and then put it into my uh, my my other hydro flask that I'll take with me as I head out. And then this I'm going to drink this morning. And yeah, I'm just trying to get as many liquids into my body. And I've already had one 32 ounce of the hydro flask this morning. So guys, I'm going to have my probiotic. The tea is steeping. So I'm gonna pour this into my other thermos. And then for breakfast this morning, I'm carrying some chia seed pudding that I made uh, last night. It has chia, uh, some hemp seeds, the last of my hemp seeds, walnuts, um, wild blueberries, coconut flakes, and um, collagen powder. Uh, and then for a snack, I have some almonds and an apple, so yeah. So guys, I am eating lunch. I just bought leftovers. It's not even really lunch, but it's just a little roasted veggies, some uh, tempeh, and I had some leftover arugula and a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil. So this is, I guess, like, yeah, just a small lunch. So I am back home for the day and getting ready to prepare dinner. Um, I'm actually having a salad with some quinoa, um, roasted chicken, some leftover roasted chicken, and um, yeah, a few other things. So I'll put everything together and I'll show you what my bowl looks like. Here is dinner. You guys, it's Tuesday. I'm moving kind of slower today. I'm really tired. So today I, in terms of what I'm eating today, I am really, really focused on, once again, hydration, because it's been very hot here. But also, um, I want to make, I have, I've boiled um, some fresh ginger with water. So I'm going to drink that. Um, I have, guys, I bought a seeded watermelon from the farmer's market. I don't know if you can hear that. 
He told me that means that it's going to be sweet and that it's nice and ripe. So I was waiting to cut this. So I'm going to cut this this morning um, and have some watermelon. And I'm also gonna start my day with a smoothie. And then I just wanna get outdoors. I wanna walk, I wanna move, I want sunshine. Um, I've just been feeling really out of it, really tired. So um, today I just wanna get as much like ginger and turmeric and fruits, um, lots of liquids and hydration. Um, yeah, so let's start off the morning with some watermelon and then a smoothie. And that's going to be my breakfast today. Seeded watermelon. So, let's see. Let me just cut a piece off. Oh my God, it smells so good. Look at all those seeds. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let me cut this. And then try it. And let you guys know if it's sweet. Guys, this is so sweet, yes. He's coming back, I think for one more run this week. So I'm buying like two more watermelons from him. But I needed this, the hydration, yay. So good. So I am drinking my um, ginger tea, which is here in this Yeti cup. This thing is so old, but I love it. It keeps everything nice and warm. This is really strong, but I feel like I need that. I know my body so well, and my immune system just feels off really low. So um, today and probably the rest of this week, I'm definitely gonna be boosting, I'm definitely gonna be focusing on immune boosting foods, but also, um, foods that are great for your gut health. And so ginger is good for both your immune system and your gut. So lots of ginger tea, but the star of the show, watermelon. So I'm going to have this first and then let this digest and probably have uh, my smoothie bowl like right after that and then get outside and get some fresh air and walk and sunshine. So yeah, I'll see you guys back here later. So guys, I am back. And you know what? I did not have a smoothie. I just ate that watermelon and I was surprisingly pretty full from that. Um, and then lots of water. So this is lunch. I actually took the leftover quinoa and chickpeas. I roasted the chickpeas with some salmon um, have some arugula in there. I just made a dressing out of uh, melted coconut oil, uh, apple cider vinegar, salt and herbs. And then of course, for some healthy gut or, or a good healthy gut food, I added some um, sauerkraut. And this is my lunch. Guys, this is so thick and creamy. It's almost like ice cream, but I didn't put enough fruit, but this is my bowl. This is going to be my uh, bowl and I'm gonna add some additional fruit. It's just so hot outside. 
add some additional fruit and some cacao nibs, but this is my afternoon snack, a berry, yeah, a berry, um, a berry smoothie. Bowl. Guys, this is, <clears throat> y'all, this is so delicious. These are some bananas I have that I'm going to put in the freezer. I'm going to uh, pack some more um, smoothie bowl packs with this, but look at this. And I added some cacao nibs on top. This is so delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm probably going to eat one of these every day this week, especially since it's so hot. And yeah, very refreshing, very cool. Hope you guys can see this really well. Berries, banana, chia seeds, flax seeds, a little bit of almond milk, and a big heaping two tablespoons of almond butter. Yeah, I just used uh, this 365 creamy almond butter. And yeah, so good, so good, so good. is dinner time and initially I couldn't decide what to eat but I went to Trader Joe's so I got some um, high protein tofu which I'm going to turn into tofu steaks and then I'm going to do some asparagus on the side so I'll put that together that's going to be my dinner tonight so let me get started in a little while probably about a couple of weeks um, so it's my high protein pancakes I'll link below to a previous video where I made uh, these pancakes but the recipe is a little bit different um, because I haven't been using a lot of protein powder so instead I use collagen and um, flax meal and then of course uh, just I just swear by starting my morning with like this ginger turmeric tea or some sort of ginger tea. Um, it's great for inflammation, great for your gut. So, oh, and also, um, I'm not sure if many of you cook with ghee, but I love the fourth and heart ghee. That's what I cooked my pancakes in. I'm loving that uh, buttery flavor without all of the lactose and everything from butter because for some reason butter is I'm still not feeling butter right now but loving ghee and this is um, my favorite brand so uh, let me put my pancakes my breakfast together um, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Guys, this is my breakfast. I added some blackberries, maybe just like a, a teaspoon of maple syrup and cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon on top. So this is breakfast. Okay guys, I'm back. It is lunchtime and it is so hot outside as usual. So I'm getting hydrated. Um, and by the way, I'm just working from home today and I'm editing this video and working on some other things on my laptop, but I did get out and walk and I'm going back out again. So I just figure, let me just eat a very light lunch. So I'm going to do tuna salad. Um, my favorite, I love tuna and some crackers and some fruit. So yeah, I'll show you guys uh, what I'm putting in my tuna. Okay, so I cut up some red onion. I feel like I should cut these up a little more. 
make them a little smaller. But I have red onion, I have some leftover celery. So I'm adding that in there. And I have artichokes, but I think I'm gonna put the artichokes in my salad instead of in my tuna. I don't know though, but I'm gonna put this in there. I probably should cut this smaller, but I'm not. And yeah, so I'll finish putting this together. And then I'll show you what my plate looks like. So I had some extra, that a little bit of chickpeas left over. So I added those and I put salt, pepper, and um, the mustard and mayo. And I have just some leftover carrots, red cabbage, um, and artichokes and I added some apple cider vinegar um, to, to these and some Mary's crackers. This is my lunch. Hey guys, I just woke up from <laughs> a nap not too long ago, but it's dinner time and I I'm just so exhausted, but um, I just took what I had. And so I had some leftover red onion, some broccoli, um, yellow, yellow bell pepper, and then the tofu that I prepared yesterday and just put this um, all together on a tray. Um, yeah, so just like, and so I'll put together my bowl and show you uh, what the final uh, dinner looks like. And guys, this is a great combination. If you love tofu the way I do, especially with roasted veggies, um, I used uh, extra virgin olive oil, different herbs. Um, this is definitely a great combination and a staple. I probably make this once a week um if not every other week but this is a staple and just use whatever vegetables you have on tofu and once again this is the leftover tofu from yesterday's um dinner so okay <clears throat> here's the final plate um i added some quinoa some sauerkraut and some hemp seeds on top. Hey guys! So it is Thursday. One more day to go up filming. But um, shout out to my sister because I started my morning doing um, a um, grow with joe workout that she recommended so thanks sis i love you for that um i've actually done it three days in a row i love that workout but i'm getting my breakfast together getting ready to head out uh, for work so i did overnight chia pudding but i did add some oats in here just to make it a little more filling i didn't show what i put in there i'll put the recipe in the description but i was just so tired but <laughs> and i passed out last night so this was this is breakfast i'm taking some um pumpkin seeds as a snack as well as fruit so i washed and soaked uh or i soaked and then rinsed some cherries and blackberries so i'm going to take the cherries and blackberries with me to go with this as my snack. I always try to pair some sort of, I always try to have a little bit of 
at least protein, carbs, fat with everything, even my snacks. It doesn't always work out like that and I don't beat myself up if I don't, but I try to. And then guys, I have some matcha green tea. Um, I have been loving matcha tea. It is just, I'm, I'm just like, I love green tea in general, but, and I found a Japanese grade matcha tea that I'm going to purchase, but it is very expensive. So it's, you know, down the road, I'll get it, but I'm going to start making my own matcha lattes at home because, you know, I just check the prices. I don't know about you guys, but you go to a lot of these places, they want like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I even saw a matcha latte for $15. I'm like, it better have like the best ingredients. It better be matcha that grew up from the ground. And sorry for matcha lovers or people who know about matcha. I don't know how it's grown, but I think that's a bit excessive. So anyway, I am getting ready. I um, just, it's just so hot. Even after I worked out, I was sweating a bit. So just letting my hair just kind of like uh, dry down. So I just tied it down um, while I get ready. But yeah, guys, so I'm gonna put all this together, get ready to head out the door, but I'll show you what I'm gonna top on my chia seed pudding before uh, I leave. So guys, I put my bowl together. <laughs> um, the Almond butter is melting. I think it's because it's so hot. Um, even with my air conditioning on, it's like everything is just hot. But I did add the blackberries to this bowl. And I'm going to put the Coco June Pure Coconut um, Yogurt on top. A, because it's cool, you know, it's cold. But also for the probiotics, as you guys know, this week, I'm also making sure that my meals contain things that are um, great for boosting your immune system and um, and also great for just your overall gut health. So coconut yogurt does both with the probiotics in there, which help, you know, as you know, probiotics help boost your immune system, but it's also great for your gut. So um, I will put this on top. This is my breakfast. I'm getting ready to eat and then get out of here. Okay, guys, I added the coconut yogurt. And then I was like, what the heck? Let me go ahead and add some raw honey. <laughs> oh, and then let me sprinkle some cinnamon. Hold on, let's add the Finally, cinnamon. Finally, it's complete. The cinnamon balances your blood sugar. So this has good protein. Um, I did make my i did use um soy milk and the soy milk i used it was like one cup it's like nine grams of protein plus all the protein from the chia seeds hemp seeds flax seeds um yeah so protein carbs healthy fats from the coconut yogurt Okay guys, I'm back home and it's so funny. I had, uh, you'll, you'll see that I had a uh, matcha latte that my manager got for me. So isn't that so hilarious that I'm talking about matcha and I got one today, it was so good. And it's from Blank Street Coffee, I loved it. And I love their matcha. So guys, I didn't eat my cherries. The matcha filled me up, I had lunch. So now I'm eating the cherries as like my second snack. And yeah, then I'll come back once dinner, once I either start cooking dinner or dinner is ready. Okay guys, so I wasn't sure what to do for dinner tonight, but I decided to just do a three egg omelet. I added um, the my extra virgin olive oil. These were, some of the veggies, I pulled out some of the veggies in that tofu stir fry, which I ate some of it at lunch, but I took out some of the veggies. I'm going to add some spinach and some garlic.
okay i wasn't going for pretty tonight <laughs> but here is my omelet i actually ended up doing two eggs instead of three um and just a piece of ezekiel toast which i drizzled with some more uh extra virgin olive oil and yeah i'm about to dig into this and I don't know, I may have dessert tonight. I wish I had some dark chocolate. I'm so bummed out. I need to get some dark chocolate, but I may have dessert. If I eat anything else, I'll let you know. Guys, it's a Friday. I'm super excited um, because it is starting off in the 70s. So I'm gonna go for a two, maybe three mile walk. So I am just like happy it's not like 90 degrees already and hot and humid. But as you already know, you know the deal. I'm starting my morning with some ginger tea. It is warm, but I'm fine with that. So I'm going to drink this. And I pulled down the watermelon I had in my freezer. Um, yeah, and so I'm going to eat this as sort of like my pre-workout fuel, I guess. Get all the carbs in. And this is an example of, you know, I usually try to do, you know, protein, carbs, and um, some fat. But in the morning, I, uh, lately, I've just been enjoying um, just fruit in the morning, especially since it's so hot outside. So this is great and great fuel for me on my walk. And then I'll have a, I guess, breakfast when I get back. So. Yeah, let me get my day started, especially since it's nicer because by this afternoon it's gonna be hot and humid. So yeah, let's go. So guys, I am back, showered, dressed. And so I'm making a just quinoa arugula salad with beets, some leftover grilled chicken, probably some chickpeas and yeah so i'll put that together that's going to be lunch it doesn't suck it looks a mess but listen i put an olive oil one tablespoon one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar a half of a lemon some sea salt oh i forgot pepper i'm gonna add black pepper and then some herbs. I think this is just, um, I'm not sure which herb. I'll put it on the screen, what I put in here. And then I am, I've started putting it at the bottom of my bowl now, and then I just kind of mix up my greens in it so my greens are coated with the salad dressing. It tastes so good. So guys, here is the salad for lunch. It has grilled chicken, chickpeas, beets. It's so delicious. Guys, it's turn hot i know i'm looking whoo but it's like what can you do you put on makeup it sweats out your hair sweats out it's just this weather is just too much it's you know what it's it's uh it's it's uh not playing fair with people okay i am hot i am sweaty but i picked up some dinner i'll show you what i got uh it feels great not to cook and yeah, so I'm going to probably eat half of it for dinner because I am just like so hot. The thought of eating a lot of heavy food just does not feel great. And then I think for my dessert, I want to do like a half an apple with some almond butter and maybe some nuts, you know, I mean some apples with almond butter and maybe some berries on a plate, I'll see. I stopped by Kava and got a bowl. I actually got something a little different this time. I always get uh, falafel. I didn't want to try. I know they have a, what is it? Like a spicy falafel, but I was like, no. Guys, I never eat romaine lettuce. Don't ask me why. I just don't, but I added some today. 
Um, I also added cucumbers and tomatoes, some harissa, a little bit of hummus. So I'm just gonna add um, some lemon juice and some extra virgin olive oil. And I may add the some a, a scoop or two of lentils. And then whatever I don't eat, I'm just gonna pack up and I'll eat it tomorrow for lunch or a snack or something. But yeah, so this is my dinner tonight. This is the bowl. Yeah. Okay, hopefully this is a better angle, but I added, I just added um, uh, apple cider vinegar and um, extra virgin olive oil. I'm sorry guys, I'm just so hot and so tired. That harissa is spicy, woohoo! And I also put um, some sprouted pumpkin seeds on top too, just for a little extra crunch flavor and of course protein so guys this is this is it this is dinner or i'm probably like i said I'm, i don't think i'm gonna eat the entire bowl but yeah this is definitely dinner <laughs>